Looks like Ross Atkins just can't stop doing S-word. Mom in is a machine trying to destroy our Blue Jays. So hit the like button, watch till end and let me know your opinion about this new drama we facing. The Toronto Blue Jays and their star first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., failed to reach an agreement on a one-year deal ahead of the arbitration deadline this Thursday. Unless a multi-year deal materializes, it seems they are headed for an arbitration hearing. Despite being a three-time All-Star, Guerrero had a relatively subdued performance in the 2023 season, earning $14.5 million and posting a solid .264-.345-.444 line with 26 home runs. In comparison to his outstanding 2021 season where he finished as the runner-up in AL MVP voting, Guerrero has not yet been able to replicate those exceptional heights. MLB trade rumors projected his 2024 salary to be $20.4 million. Being a file and trial club, the Blue Jays strictly adhere to the arbitration deadline, refraining from negotiating one-year deals beyond it. According to Sportsnet's Sure Davity, the deadline for the exchange of individual salary figures is set, and an arbitration hearing is scheduled to take place between January 29th and February 16th. In this instance, the Jays filed at $18.05 million, while Guerrero countered with $19.9 million. Should the matter proceed to a hearing, an independent panel will ultimately determine Guerrero's salary for the 2024 season. In the arbitration process, both the player and the club exchange individual salary figures, and an arbitration hearing is scheduled between January 29th and February 16th. In this case, the Jays filed at $18.05 million, while Guerrero filed at $19.9 million. If it goes to a hearing, an independent panel will decide Guerrero's salary for the 2024 season based on the arguments presented by both sides. Despite the challenges and potential contentious nature of the arbitration process, the Blue Jays are prepared to navigate it with Guerrero who is currently in his third year of four years of arbitration eligibility. Guerrero is scheduled to become a free agent after the 2025 season. Interestingly, Guerrero is the only player on the Blue Jays roster who did not settle, in contrast to the 11 other players who reached agreements. The details of those agreements are as follows. Kevin Biggio, $4.21 million. Genesis Cabrera, $1.5125 million. Santiago Espinal, $2.725 million. Danny Jansen, $5.2 million. Alejandro Kirk, $2.8 million. Tim Meza, $3.59 million. Nate Pearson, $800,000. Trevor Richards, $2.15 million. Jordan Romano, $7.75 million. Eric Swanson, $2.75 million. Dalton Vars Show, $5.65 million. The intricacies of the arbitration process, player negotiations, and contract settlements highlight the complexities inherent in managing the financial aspects of a professional baseball team. If the Toronto Blue Jays and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. reach an agreement on a multi-year deal, it would negate the need for an arbitration hearing. However, as things stand, it appears they are heading in that direction. Guerrero, at 24 years old, still has two years of team control remaining, making it possible for the team to explore avoiding a hearing by agreeing on terms for those two years. However, such an outcome seems unlikely. Going to a hearing is generally considered unfavorable, as it can create a negative atmosphere between the player and the team. Avoiding undervaluing a player, especially one of Guerrero's caliber, is crucial for the team's long-term relationship with the player. Engaging in a dispute over a relatively small amount, like $1 million, could potentially affect the player's perception of the team. While some players may view it as just business, others may take offense, as seen in instances like Corbin Burns in Milwaukee last season. Despite a relatively down year in Toronto, where he posted a .264 batting average with 26 home runs, Guerrero remains one of the more productive hitters in baseball. Since his debut in 2016, he boasts a lifetime .279 batting average with 130 home runs, leading the league in homers during the 2021 season. In his five-year career, Guerrero has already achieved the status of a three-time All-Star, Home Run Derby champion, and Gold Glover, showcasing his exceptional contributions to the game. As negotiations unfold, the dynamics between the player and the team highlight the intricate balance of business and player relations in professional baseball.
What are your thoughts on the ongoing contract negotiations between the Toronto Blue Jays and Vladimir Guerrero Jr.? Do you believe reaching an agreement on a multi-year deal would be the best outcome? Or do you think heading to an arbitration hearing is a reasonable step in the negotiation process? Additionally, how do you view the potential impact of such negotiations on Guerrero's relationship with the team and his overall standing in the league? Feel free to share your insights and opinions on this matter. Exploring three infield trade options to strengthen the Blue Jays roster. The Toronto Blue Jays find themselves at a crossroads after the disappointment of missing out on Shohei Otani. The offseason, marked by the retention of Chad Green, the signing of Isaiah Kiner Falifa, and the return of Kevin Kiermaier on a one year deal has left fans yearning for more significant transactions at one Blue Jays way. In a free agent market with slim pickings, the team faces the conundrum of either shelling out substantial sums for players like Cody Bellinger or Matt Chapman, or pursuing a more impactful strategy of enhancing the roster through trades. The latter approach seems to be gaining traction, especially considering the limited movement in the transaction front so far. While Kiner Falifa adds a reliable glove to the mix, questions loom large over his ability to serve as an everyday third baseman. Moreover, second base remains a position where the team could benefit from an upgrade, given the current keystone by committee scenario. Here, we delve into three significant infield trade targets that could potentially reshape the Blue Jays' opening day roster. 1. Jose Ramirez, third baseman. Age, 31. 2023 stats. 0.282 slash 0.356 slash 0.475, 24 HR, 123 WRC plus, 5.1 F war. Salary remaining, 5 years, $103 million. The prolonged interest in Jose Ramirez is well-founded, considering his consistent improvement and status as one of baseball's premier hitters. While the acquisition cost might involve depleting the prospect cupboard, the allure of adding a five-time All-Star cannot be understated. Ramirez's potential inclusion would not only fill the void left by Matt Chapman's departure, but also elevate the entire lineup to unprecedented heights. 2. Jorge Polanco, second baseman. Age, 30. 2023 stats. 0.255-0.335-0.454, 14 HR, 118 WRC+. 1.5 F war. Salary remaining. Two years, $22.5 million, club option for 2024 at $12 million. With second base currently operating as a committee-driven position, the Blue Jays could find stability in Jorge Polanco. Despite a slight dip from his career-high 33 home runs in 2021, Polanco offers offensive consistency and the potential to be a formidable force in the top half of the batting order. His club option for the 2025 season aligns strategically with the Blue Jays' competitive window. 3. Willie Adams, second baseman. Age, 28. 2023 stats. 0.217-0.310-0.407. 24 HR, 94 WRC+, 3.4 F war. Salary remaining. Final year arbitration eligible. The potential acquisition of Willie Adams from the Milwaukee Brewers presents an intriguing proposition for the Blue Jays. Despite a puzzling trade by the Tampa Bay Rays, Adams has flourished with the Brewers, offering a powerful bat to a lineup that underperformed in 2023. With only one year of team control remaining, Adams' shift from shortstop to second base mirrors the successful transition of Marcus Simeon in 2021. The prospect of acquiring Adams without sacrificing top prospects like Ricky Tiedemann makes this trade scenario highly enticing for Toronto. In conclusion, these trade targets represent not only potential solutions to current roster gaps but also opportunities to elevate the Blue Jays to new heights in the competitive landscape of the MLB. As the offseason unfolds, the front office faces the delicate task of balancing immediate impact with long-term sustainability in their pursuit of infield upgrades. Thank you.